Ooh, here we go. What sorcerer has summoned me? There you are. Well met, human. Behold, the demon Aisheth, princess of sin. You've summoned me here for a reason, and I can hazard a guess at what that reason is. Let us... You... You okay? I said, are you okay? You look terrified. Are you in awe of my beauty? Most people are. It's normal. Well, then, are you threatened by my confidence? You had to know when you did the ritual to bring me here. I'm no shrinking violet. You chose me for a reason. What? Of, of course I'm real. Have I not just appeared before you in a cloud of smoke and brimstone? Why would you think I'm anything other than real? Yes, I am, as real as you are. What, do you think this is a dream? Do you think you could dream up something as amazing as me? Fat chance. Look, here, touch my arm. See? I'm real. What the actual... What is wrong with you? You summoned me. What's your problem? Oh. Oh, I get it. You did this for a lark. Just goofing around, playing magic pretend. You didn't think it would actually work. You're one of those silly humans who gets their hands on a very dangerous book and does a very stupid thing. Calm yourself. You're annoying me. Let me think. Seriously, just stop. Breathe. In and out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Of course I'm not. You summoned me. That means I can't hurt you. Did you actually read the book? Or did you just skip to the part about manifesting a hot chick and then start lighting candles? Wow, you have definitely bit off more than you can chew. Hang on, let me sit down. You get comfortable too. We need to talk. Just sit down. Sit and breathe. Okay, let's figure this out. You brought me here. You did the whole ritual. That means we're bound together. Damn it, stop. Relax. You haven't done anything wrong. Well, not really. I guess there are some people who would argue otherwise, but from where I'm sitting, you haven't committed any crimes. What? No, your soul is fine. It's not even part of this transaction. No, you didn't give it away to bring me here, and I don't get it at the end of our contract. This is not that sort of situation. But it is still a situation, and we need to figure out a plan. Well, I presume the reason you were tempted to play around with a ritual was because you were... lacking in female companionship. Is that a fair assessment? So there's no wife, no girlfriend, nothing like that in the picture? No entanglements of any kind? And you don't have an understanding with any other demons, right? No prior contracts? Alright, that makes it a little less complicated. It's just you and me figuring out the next steps. We can come to some sort of agreement, shouldn't be that hard. What do you mean? Did you expect something other than civility? I'm pretty nice once you get to know me, you know. Oh, the demon thing. You, you assumed... Yeah, no. Maybe the average demon used to be a fire-breathing monstrosity, but I'm not an average demon. And even the regular ones nowadays don't go for the pyrotechnics and parlor tricks anymore. We find conversation is far more effective. It's a modern era, you know. Talking to people can get a lot further than scaring the hell out of them. Most demons have adapted for the 21st century. Even the boss, well, he's a little slower to adapt, but he's getting there. Maybe someday he'll learn to send an email. Anyway, where were we? Right, the contract. So here's what we know. We're bound together, but we can write the terms, or at least massage them a bit. We can set the length of time for the contract, say... One year, I think that's the minimum we can do. After that time, you will owe me payment. 
Not your soul, of course, but payment. I'm thinking a year for a year. After the year is up, you pay me either in a year of service or just a year of your life taken away. You can choose which. No need to choose anything yet. We're just hashing out the details. Besides, you still have that dazed look about you. I think we need to take this slow to make sure you don't get overwhelmed. Hey, I don't blame you. It's not every day a princess of hell turns up in front of you. That would overwhelm anyone. And it has, believe me. Oh, you're not the first to summon me, but you seem like one of the nicer ones, which is why I'd like to get through this process with minimal emotional and mental scarring for you. You're welcome. So we do a year, let's say. For that year, I am, for lack of a better term, your girlfriend. Yes, really. And I don't just mean in private. We can, like, go out and do stuff. I can be your plus one for events, whatever you need. No, I can make the wings and tail disappear. Look. There, see? I look as human as you do. My eyes won't even glow. Come on, did you really think I'd be walking around in demon form? Seriously, what do you take me for? I can keep this form for the year and act as the companion you had in mind when you started playing with the book. I can share your interests, I can be good company, and I cannot hurt you. So honestly, it's a pretty sweet deal for you. Not so fast. You can't just push me around for a year. I'm not a servant, I'm not a doll, I'm not a punching bag, and I'm definitely not a doormat. You still have to respect my agency and autonomy in most things. This is a contractual relationship, not an ownership situation. I am not your pet. Do take care, sweetness. I know you're confused and a little scared now. But once you get comfortable with me, you'll probably be tempted to see how far you can push the boundaries. Might I suggest right now that you don't? Just don't take the chance of pissing me off. You won't like what happens. Good, I hope we understand each other. Like I said, you seem nice. I'd like to have a pleasant experience working with you. There are a few other details we need to work through, but that's the gist. Considering we don't have a lot of other options, how does that sound to you? Acceptable? All right, then. We need to seal it. With a kiss, love. We need to seal it with a kiss. It's going to be a very long year if you won't at least kiss me. This is what you wanted, right? This is what you were fantasizing about when you were drawing symbols on the floor. Okay then, come and kiss me. Close your eyes. Very good. Maybe there's hope for you. Now... We're going to get to know each other very, very well. Oh, yes. Come sit over here with me and let's talk. I should probably put this out there right now. I will never at any time call you master. Do you understand? You better. Like I said, you do not possess me. I'm on a leash, but it will eventually snap. And you want to be sure I still like you when it does. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Come then, get comfortable. Should we get drinks, maybe? Are you hungry? Hey, I'm your girlfriend. How about I make you a drink? Hmm. I bet I can think of something. And then you can tell me all about your childhood, your hobbies, your interests, whatever crosses your mind. Of course I'll listen, I'm interested. And then I can learn more about them on my own time. Oh, trust me, sweetness, I'm a very good girlfriend. When the year is up, you're not going to want to be rid of me. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hey, sweetness. Special shout out to this audio's randomly selected sweetness patron, I am Ruin. Thank you so much to all of my patrons. You make this channel possible. 
If you like what you hear, be sure to hit the subscribe button below, leave a like, and check out the links in the description for my other channels and ways to get cool perks for supporting me. Thanks for listening.